All right, today we're experimenting with Suicide Linux. So now in case you're unfamiliar, Suicide Linux is a Linux package that makes it so that way when you type a wrong command into terminal, it'll resolve it as rm-rf slash, which as you may know, will break your system. In fact, I actually made a video showing what happens if you run sudo rm-rf slash. I'll link it up in the card. As the developers say, it's like a game to see how long can you use the command line without losing your data. Now, just to clear up any confusion, it's not actually a Linux distro, even though the name makes it sound like a Linux distro. It's simply a package that you install on your existing Linux Linux distro. Now there is one catch though. You have to be logged in as root for the package to work properly because the rm-rf slash command will only work when you're running as root. Also, don't run this on your main system because it could cause data loss. In fact, I'm going to be doing this in a virtual machine, so I'm not going to be destroying a regular use Linux box, but the behavior and everything will be the same. Also, for what I hope are obvious reasons, I'm not putting a download link in the description for Suicide Linux, so if you want to try it out yourself, you're going to have to look it up yourself. But without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so now when you download Suicide Linux, it'll come as a regular dev package for Debian and Debian-based distros like Ubuntu. Just like with any dev package, you just open it up and click install, and then punch in your password, and then it'll go ahead and install. So now what that does is it makes a modification to your terminal that'll resolve any wrong command as rm-rf slash, which will break your system, assuming you're logged in as root. Now, of course, you can always remove it just by opening it up and clicking remove. But anyway, you can see that it's not a regular application in our menu. But if we go into terminal, we get this friendly reminder that Suicide Linux is installed, which tells us not to type in anything wrong. But anyway, just so that we don't cheat with this game, let's just log in as root by doing a sudo-i real quick. And by the way, you wouldn't normally do this. Okay, now we're in root mode. So now let's see, how far can I take this before I break my system? Anyway, first let's run one of the most basic Linux commands, uname dash r, which tells us what Linux kernel version we're on. Let's just run that. Okay, we're on 5.4.047 generic. Okay, let's do something that I think is specific to Ubuntu. Don't quote me on it though. That will tell us what Ubuntu release we have, which is lsb underscore release dash a. Hit enter. There we go. All right, so now let's get a little more complex and just do an apt install flowblade. See if we can get my video editor installed. Hit enter. Seems so far so good. And after this install, we'll see how much further we can take this. Alright, now let's actually try running Flowblade. Let's open up the nano text editor as root and just make a test file and save that as a test file, and it's actually in the root home folder. Before we try and see what qualifies to suicide Linux as a bad command, I will first want to show you what will happen if you type in a bad command with suicide Linux installed if you're not logged in as root. Say you're just logged in as a normal user, and you type in a bad command. It'll get a bunch of permission denied errors because it can't remove anything. And it'll finally say, oops, looks like you misspelled something. I actually personally think that should be at the top because by the time you get to that, your system will be broken and you won't be able to see that. But anyway, this will wipe out your home folder. And if we go into our file manager, there you can see that there's nothing in the home folder. Like we basically just wiped out the home folder. So yeah, this will cause data loss regardless to whether you're logged in as root or not. Actually, the only difference it would make is whether or not it breaks your installation completely. But anyway, let's get back into root mode. Let's see what qualifies as a bad command. Let's just do an apt uninstall, which I know won't work. It's actually remove flow blade. Okay, so this doesn't apply to any arguments for the command, just the command itself. Okay, you know what? I know you've all been waiting for me to break the system, and we're in a VM anyway, so let's just 
punch in a wrong command. And we've already get the home folder wiped, so might as well just put this thing out of its misery. Let's actually just dig around the system. Oh, it looks like we caused a kernel panic. Anyway, let's just reboot this and see what happens. And no surprise what happens here. It goes into grub rescue mode. Like, it just won't boot. Like, we just broke the Linux installation, basically. Just like running sudo rm-rf slash. And that was my experiment with Suicide Linux. So thanks for watching. If you liked this video, found it was interesting, hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment.